Hey guys, it's Colin here. I'm here today to show you how to convert an MKV file to MP4 or on a uh, on a Mac and on a Windows. Um, I guess you could call me an expert at this since I do a lot of uh, video converting. Um, although I'm probably not the best at it. Um, so if you're doing this on a Windows, I would recommend using Total Video Converter. I've tried about eight or nine, and Total Video Converter was the best I found. Easy to use, easy to do stuff on it. Um, the one con, the big con I found on it was that um, with Total Video Converter, it only gives you about one, uh, it make, basically gives you the options like for bit rate, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 10,000. And the bit rates for videos are usually something like 2,400 or 1,800. They're not like 2,000 or 1,000. And the fact that it doesn't detect the bit rate is just a little bit annoying for me and it's a uh, big big con but um other than that no real big issues with that you just download it and use that uh good for um queuing up a lot of videos if you have entire seasons i recommend using a windows computer rather than a mac now for mac now that basically concludes our uh, our windows side now for mac uh i would recommend mkv tools it's not a very well known um tool but i think it's the best a lot of people will, will uh, refer you to Handle Break, which is fine if you're not doing subs. Because if you're doing subs, Handle Break will um, a lot of times add a little, a little uh, black bar to the subs or something. I don't know. I had issues with it. Um, now, the cons to this are that at the moment, I don't know of any kind of cracked version of this. So you kind of have to um, have it as it is or pay for it. And as a result, you have that little five second delay if you don't pay for it, and you also can't queue up videos. So this is more of uh, something you would do if it just if you have something you want to convert like every week or something, just not ha for handling like big projects like twenty videos or something. Um, so you just keep it like this, pass one or pass two, um, and it gives you the bit rate. Detects the bit rate, gives you the bit rate, really really nice. And you just press convert, and it converts for you. Uh, you have MP4, AVI, and you can also join MP4 files in here if you want. Um, cons to this. Just told you the cons. All right. Um, that basically concludes my tutorial. Um, now I'm just going to go quickly and tell you guys what MKV format and what MP4 format are. MKV format, yeah, it's uh, higher quality. Yeah, it uploads to the internet crazy fast, like three seconds. The entire video. Um, the issue is, is that you can't really stream it, which is why it's more of a downloadable file. Um, if you try and uh, a lot of sites like YouTube will um, actually take your MKV file and convert it to MP4, uh, just because you can't really read an MKV file um, and stream it. Um, also, MKV files your subs won't show up because your subs are technically a separate file until they're mp4 so if you upload this as a stream file you won't get subs which is why a lot of people um, who are trying to get subbed shows are um, streaming this as mp4 in fact all of them are so uh, that concludes my tutorial